What about penguins? Definitely penguins. The, the emergency exit is the culprit. What are you crazies doing? But the good news is... Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. You know, it is pretty cool. What is pretty cool? <laughs> so I picked the exact right bit when I <laughs> did it. The bit? No, whatever. Doesn't really seem smart to take the seatbelt off. <laughs> know that we'll get it back in a safe fashion. And Katie worked her arms out this morning, so now she can't hold them out in front of her. It's <laughs> ridiculous. All right, so we've gotten most of the ceiling up. So we have to basically running down both sides of the bus. We've got to fur out to make room for wiring so that we can easily run wiring up and down the side of the bus. Also, the factory wiring for the bus runs down this side. We're basically building a furring box on each side of the bus. Um, so I'm just using this one by one, pre-drilling holes where the, where the posts in the bus are, and then screwing right into those posts, setting it right on top of these brackets, and then we'll, we'll put a piece of this stuff just just spanning this to finish it off. So, and then we'll paint it and it'll look kind of seamless. So, anyway, working on that. Happy to have a ceiling. Woohoo! Okay, when this whole project is done, I'm going to do a video called Things I Wish I Had Known <laughs> Ahead of Time when building out a schoolie. And this is one of the things that will definitely go in that video, window tint. I wish so badly that we would have tinted all the windows as soon as the whole thing was empty and just a big empty bus before we started the build and the framing and all that kind of stuff. Cause the saga with the tint continues, unfortunately. I ordered a box of tint and it came today, it took three business days to get here. It was already holding me up and it's too light. I didn't get dark enough tint. I can't build out the walls because these wall studs are in front of the windows and I wanna run the wood right up to the window or almost to the window, not against it, but almost to the window and I can't. Just because of stupid freaking window tint I'm held up for a couple more days on putting on the walls. That's Milo's favorite saying right now. But the good news is, ceiling's done. What? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey. What are we doing? Um, went to the aquarium. We're going to the aquarium. Spring break. We're standing in line just to get in the aquarium. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna see? Small sharks and... Small sharks. And dolphins and sea turtles. Do you think dolphins will be in there? And sea turtles? What about penguins? Definitely penguins. Do you know what I'm most excited about? What? Sloths. I heard there's sloths here. What are sloths? <laughs> dropped his toy in the aquarium. No, Addison, Addison, did you touch it? Yeah. How yeah. was it?
Look at these hobos. What are you crazies doing? We are sleeping in here. All right, my friends, we got our beautiful ceiling in. Oh yeah. So beautiful ceiling, heavy rain, and leaks. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm glad it happened now before we have our flooring in and kitchen in and all that kind of stuff because our roof is leaking and it's right, the, the emergency exit is the culprit. I'm glad we figured it out now and, and uh, hopefully we can figure out how to get it sealed off good. It's been a very productive weekend. I want to show you a couple things, so I'll turn you around. Getting close on the bunks. As you can see, they, all the tools got moved to the bunks. But, so here's Milo's bunk and Kenya's bunk. Katie's hiding. <laughs> here's Addison's bunk. There's Addison's bed. And then going further back, we have a bathroom floor. So the toilet will sit there on this larger piece here. And then this space will actually be um, storage for stuff. Toilet paper, paper towels, all the bathroomy kind of stuff. All right, so we're getting ready to lay some flooring. We bought this awesome, indestructible uh, rubber flooring from Home Depot that looks pretty cool. I've got two closets there and there. Woo! And uh, so I'll put the flooring in first so that, those, so that those pantries have the flooring in them. And then we'll frame in the pantries and then cabinets start to come in. And then also here is where our hide a bed couch will be so if you want to visit us and sleep on our hide a bed you can do that and uh, Katie's dad is building that for us it's gonna be a, a seat like a couch and then we can pull it out and it will fold down into a bed and it's gonna be awesome we're getting kind of close right Katie sitting here cuz I just bashed my head real hard <laughs> she hit her head on the bunks it was sad Hey my friends, sun's going down, it's getting late. I've been working all day, long day today. But I wanted to show you, got our floor in. Now we've got to cover it to protect it so that we can continue to work and put paneling up and put the walls up and everything. But man, look at it. Doesn't it look good? I love it. It's perfect. It was so easy to install and it's floating so you don't have to fasten it to the floor at all. I mean, it's solid, solid stuff. I am incredibly stoked on this floor. I love it. I can't wait, stuff's coming together. Yeah! All right, my friends, I am happy to report that I am starting to figure out these curved ceilings. It's tight. It looks really good, right? Yay! <laughs> Don't look at that one. This one looks good, though. All right, today I have been working on these closets. We've got two closets on the front side of the bunks. So this one is on the, the passenger side of the bus. And uh, you can see it kind of houses our water pump in the bottom of it. Because um, the water tanks are right underneath it. So a little platform there that I'll be able to access from the closet. And then we'll just have some actually baskets that roll out of this closet, which will be pretty cool. We debated and debated about this closet. We were worried that putting in a closet here was gonna take too much room away from our kitchen and it definitely has taken some room out, but basically this is gonna be like our, our mud room, coat hanging, boot holding, shoe holding closet. Um, it's super deep. I probably wouldn't have done it that deep again, but man, looks good. This little window thing is gonna be backed by Hardy Backer across the whole thing will be backed in hardy backer and then we're going to do the back of it in penny tiles and accent color penny tiles and put some spice racks in it so you can see a whole picture how this beauty is starting to come together Woo! i feel like it's actually starting to come together yes Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. 
don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often. Thank you.